Oh, make sure I turn my phone on. Yeah, my phone be on. Like people, people be calling, and I be in the middle of, hey, how you doing? I'm hey. on the, in the middle of uh, uh, I'm in the middle life. of no draws right now. Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all about life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Okay. All right, man. You can sit that. You can sit that. I, I hopefully have uh, put the focus on to right here, but you can. We can sit like this to the one Same foot thing. in, one foot out. Yeah, we, yeah. We can talk to the people. Open to the we can talk to each other, man. How you been, bro? I know you've been out here working, man. Hey, man. Staying on the grind. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do. Last time man. I was on here, my hair was a whole lot shorter. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you did have you did have the, the curls. Little, yeah. I had you the had the fro. fro. You did. We was in Trent basement. Yeah, this was before. This was before the elevations. Hey, boy, was it, yeah. man? Yeah. And then you know it's crazy. He called me right before you walked in. See, cause that's how it worked. It be knowing. It connected. The universe. The universe. Be. universe. And the mycelium. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that sounds like that's, that's smart. Called mushrooms. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, man, I had something the other day for my birthday. I was I was on Peter Street. Oh, it up. Just I didn't even do nothing that day. I just was on Peter Street on shrooms. <laughs> I was handing the shrooms out to people. Like, what you doing today? You want some shrooms? You want some shrooms? You want to be like there you me. go. Yeah. Niggas was like, I ain't never do that. I had a girl call me like, oh, my God, thank you so much for this shit. I'm like, oh, my God, I felt so cool. <laughs> I was like, I saw everything in, like, extra D. I was like. He said extra D. Yeah. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah, yeah, I felt good about it, man. That's what's up. Felt you, good you, about you, it. was like a, 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 a kind of like a slick hippie drug dealer, real quick. Slick hippie, <laughs> real, real <laughs> quick. <laughs> For one day, I was real out there. <laughs> I was, I was out the there, street. real quick. <laughs> Trapping it out for free. For free. <laughs> I, could, I don't know how niggas be on it all day or like a, do a three, five with shrooms. I don't know. You I know can't do it. Can't I haven't do done it yet. You have, how you know? But I thought you liked the uh, chocolate. So how you Yeah, know? so like the chocolates come in the bars and mm-hmm. then they got like the different measurements. So if you mm-hmm. take two, that's the equivalent to like a, sh- a microdose. Uh, now if you take three, it's this, four, you. it's this. I got you. So I've only done two. 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 two that's all you need is two. Do a C. But I'm gonna do three soon. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see God one time. And I, I'm just scared that I'm gonna be like, "Hey, somebody need to watch me." I don't know what I'm finna do, man. I might just sit in this chair and slob on myself for thirty hours. It happen. It happen. You, that would be you. Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't had concerts. I don't. See, on I want lights, that true. You know what I'm saying? It just the, whatever the vibe takes me. You know okay. what I'm saying? But then sometimes you'll be like, oh. you be crying and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't want that. I'll be with a girl that I like for real. <laughs> I don't know what to mind. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> but it, I love you. But it just depends. You know what I'm saying? Like everything else, it just depends on what state of mind you in. You know what I mean? Facts, facts, facts. Deal, you know. Okay. But yeah, man. What's been up with you, Mer? Man, I be here. <laughs> I be here. Editing and shooting and editing and shooting and editing and shooting. That's all I be doing. That's and then telling like jokes. Me. Yeah. And making sure I get paid. That'd well, be the I real thing. I be telling jokes, but I don't be getting paid. I just it's all right. And hey, they come out. You you hit, you <laughs> actually gave me a good one the other day. We said your, uh, your mom's birthday. Uh huh. About the white girl. What type of Jesus you got? Oh yeah, that's a good one. And I was like, yeah, that's a good. I was like, I said it out loud just to see if it hit. And I was like, I'll save this for later. <laughs> I'll we'll build on that. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that one hit. That hit for everybody, yeah. white and black and, and then, everybody. Because then when you really explain it like for real, like. That's you know true. Man? Which Jesus y'all serving? Y'all are gonna serve the Jesus that bring in the most money. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never even thought about that. It's gonna be the black Jesus. This for interracial couples, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Whether it's the black Jesus or the white Jesus or the Korean Jesus, you know what you I'm think, saying? You think Korean people Jesus look like Korean Jesus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think every nationality got their own Jesus. Yeah, you know they do. Saying? I think yeah. boot like Buddha is Jesus to some extent. I mean, kinda. But uh, he's not Jesus, but he's just like a figure of enlightenment. I mean, yeah, and Nirvana. So, like, you know, that's I mean, kinda. Jesus trying to get us to do the right thing. Everybody got their own yeah. person or symbolism to mm. do right and righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Amongst the earth. Facts. I think it's just a everybody, it just depends on where you at in the earth. Like yeah. over there, they're they're whatever they believe in. It's definitely the same as this. It's just depicted differently. Differently, right. Right. That is. Right. I That's mean, true. I understand that, you know, the word like religion got the uh meaning of, you know, doing certain things and all like that, like that. But it, to me, if you look at the word, it got region in it, you know what I'm saying? So it's I like, never thought about it. To me, it's just like, that's just the beliefs 
of the people in that region and how they perceive things because they on the different side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know that ain't the the meaning of the word, but that's just how I see it. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. I always, you know, what's weird to me is when I hear people be like, "Yeah, I couldn't date someone because they they didn't have the same religious beliefs as me." I'd be like. Y'all don't know how to treat each other, right? I don't understand that. I'm lost. Yeah. I'm so yeah. lost. Like what? Yeah. What 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 putting uh you know this on your wall, that on your wall got to do with treating your fellow man, your fellow homie, right? You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. some people they be thinking all crazy, but then they go to work and got to work with somebody who totally what they're against. But then after so much time and they start to really see it, then they become good homies. So that just got the, uh, right. I guess, uh, a lesson in elevation, you know what I mean, and growing just like in nature. Yeah, man, you know I mean? in nature, man. How how the baby goat doing, man? Man, right, right off the chain, you know what I'm saying, goat dog. He, I would have bought him, but I didn't want him to be pooping around. Well, we be having man. 17 dogs in here, so you can't he, tell the difference. But, but you can tell the difference between the his goat doo-doo. Poop. But his doo-doo, yeah, you're right. The, the right. little raisins be jumping up baby. out there. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you falling out of there like Niagara Falls. <laughs> That's your <not> free me. <laughs> Woo! That's all you see. 30,000 little black turds fall out. You be like, damn. I didn't know you pooped like that. Yeah, I did, I did man. I ain't, it'd be so much stuff you'd be teaching me that I don't even know I'd be dumb about. I'd be like, what? I ain't know nothing about none of this. Man, but that's just a part of, of nature. That's the part that, you know what I mean, I try to help reconnect people with. You know what I mean? Because... It's just simple stuff that we don't think of because that's not in our everyday life. All mm-hmm. we see is what they show us on National Geographic or Animal Planet. You know what I'm saying? True. Until you come out there and see it and smell o vision. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, that's how that smells? That's how that look? That's how that tastes? Then you really be like, oh, that's what's up. Man, that's, that's it, what's up. It's been a crazy last couple of years, bro. I've been sitting here like, boy. <laughs> It seemed like it's all been one year compiled. Just long, yeah. one long year. Yeah, like, like, man. Yeah, because, I mean, it's like, crazy. We, like, started, we started at the old spot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you first came out there on Camden Road. At the Pizza Hut, with yep. the Pizza Hut. Yeah, beside the little church thing in the same and building. And then they had the one homeless person. The one home, he used to stay in the back. I just seen him walking down the street the other day, so he good. You know what I'm saying? He good. Yeah. Yeah, he good. Yeah. He used to watch the cars and not wash, but watch the cars, make sure nobody went breaking in. But he good. You know what I'm saying? Just say what's up to homie. And he'll say what's up and everything cool. Hey, he might man. see if you don't say what's up, he might see in the street and he walk past, he be cussing. You know what I'm saying? He always cussing. Man, but he be cussing at you. <laughs> oh. Hey, ain't no random cussing. Nah, this is directed nah, at yeah. you. Oh, this punk motherfucker last time. This yeah. motherfucker over here. Yeah, it like you. he be talking about it. He be talking to himself. So you know how the old men be talking. You know what I'm saying? You know he's saying something. And uh, then they punk motherfucker. That's not like some Uncle Juke say. <laughs> That sound like some Uncle Juke shit right there. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd be right. right we got to get him on the show, man. I don't yeah. know if he would. I don't know what he would say on here. I, I feel like he'd be scared. Uh, he wouldn't be scared. He just got to get started. Now he gets started, it's going to go from there. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Give him some wild Irish rose. Man, I'd be on that wild Irish rose. <laughs> this ain't my first party. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> He hits you like, all right, um, we know. <laughs> you know what I'm we get it, huh? You know what I'm hey, man, that is, that I got to go see Uncle Juke tomorrow, That man, is man. a treasure that Atlanta needs to put. That nigga needs a key to Atlanta, real talk. Hey, man, look, man, that man is off the chain, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I aspire to have the vigor of him and Mr. Murray man. when I get their age. Man, you tell me about saying? it. Like, like uh, Uncle Juke just called me the other day. I gotta, like I said, I got to go see him tomorrow. Cause his watermelon busting, they coming all out the fence now. You oh, what so what he lost now? Well, now he just always called me. What I supposed to do? Man? <laughs> what I supposed to do, man? You know what I mean? he they like, busting. He like, he like, man, these okra, man. I gotta go out there cut them things there. I told you, cause you, it ain't no game now. You know what I'm saying? But he love it. He always tell me yeah, how man. much he water the garden and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then. Just sometimes it just be hilarious to kick it with him, you know what I mean, and hear them stories and see how he be out there really working on two, three cars and fix it, a race car all at the same time. Crazy, <laughs> man. I be like, yo, because if you look at him, he be like, bro, we do this shit. Yeah. We do this shit now. So I'm like, yeah. bro, you been doing this shit since you was 
Or yeah, he been doing it all his life. So to him, like certain people like a look at him and be like, oh man. But to him, it's just his way of life. That's what he do. It's crazy. And, and, and people think he crazy, man. I would be like, nah, I'm not crazy. It's just you just let the world dictate to you how you feel, yeah, right? And he don't care nothing about your feelings, his feelings, they feelings, her feelings. Especially when you on his property or you in <laughs> oh. his spot. You know what I'm saying? He might give you a pass, you know what I'm saying, out in the atmosphere. But when you in his environment, oh man. No, nah, it's only his top, rules. Top 10 funny thing was when he called us and he was whispering. Oh, yeah. Well, and I we was like, like, what? <laughs> I say, hey, uh, I say, hey, uh, man, you got to call me back when you can cuss. This yeah. ain't even right. This ain't it. I don't know what you got going. Are you sick? Yeah, he's at the doctor's office. What? What's going on? You're not <laughs> cussing. He just died laughing. You know what I'm saying? I was like, so man. That, 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 was, that was hilarious. You know what I mean? But the, f- the fact that he's 60 and, and just got married like two years ago is wild. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, hell yeah. Uh, let these hoes wait. <laughs> let these hoes wait. Wait till you're 60, fellas. I'm here for it. He, he like, well, yeah, yeah, Uncle Juke up there. You know what I'm saying? But he, be, he, be, he be on go mode. He Man, on go before mode. he was married, he used to have me laughing. I was like, you be using them pills from the gas station to get your dick hard. I was like, I don't need them. Young hoes keep my dick hard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know, you got to like Vince Versa. You got your niggas mixed up. <laughs> you got them mixed up, bro. Oh, he be, he said shit so hard one day. I was like, all right, you right. <laughs> you oh, right. man. That, 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 that's the way he is. Oh, my God. Yeah, and he'll, he'll, if you bring a girl around him, who is this? He just give him nicknames. nicknames. Yeah, what, what, uh, uh, what he said. Hot bowl of grits. Right? Yeah, you got look at, look at thick g- 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 grits right there. That's grits right there. Thick bowl of grits right there. Where my little grits at? I'd be like, stop calling the girl I'm kissing in the mouth grits. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I'm calling her grits now. <laughs> I don't even use the name. Like, what's up, grits? How you doing? You good? <laughs> Uncle said, what's up? That is hilarious, bro. That is that hilarious. Is yo, man. Shit, your mama is hilarious too, bro, man. Man, she out the chain, man. Shoot. She, she what? She just a year or two older than Uncle Juke, man, and they wild. Crazy. Man. I be sitting there like, nigga, who's? My, my mama going more in bitches than me. She be going <laughs> fishing. She just went camping the other day. She leaving to go fishing and camping again today or something. You mom know Dukes. Shouts out to Mom Dukes out yeah. here living. She out here, she said, I got to go back to work. School about to start back. So, you know, I got to get it in. I got about two weeks left. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she so said. Said, so said. I said, all right, well, all right. That's the bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I got about two <laughs> weeks. Yeah, yeah, I got to start school here in a minute, you know, get these children. You know. Let me do my, my, my me, fuck me, shit. Yeah, let me go out here and go hang out. and Smoke my know. left-handed cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> that did what they be saying. They be like, that "What the hell is a left-handed yeah, cigarette?" Yeah, I ain't never understood that. You know what I'm saying? Because don't left-handed people smoke with their left hand? I was like, "What? Well, it, it just mean weed?" I guess. I don't know. I guess. I, so. I, I, I the funny cigarettes. I can go with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the left hand, it just throws me off. I be like, left-handed. Anyway, <laughs> don't that just make you ambidextrous? Yeah, you just go <laughs> smoking with this hand and that hand. Boom. Oh man. But yeah, man, we gotta get you back out there in the field, man. I be in the field. I be I be trying to get out there more, but I know we you be, be out working. there. Shit, you be working, bro. Yeah, we be we be working. I mean, we be <laughs> we be, we be like we here. We did it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nigga, be like, hey man, yeah. I done drunk too much last night. <laughs> I can't make it. I'm not gonna make it at ten, right, but ten thirty, right. I'll be there. I be there, right? You be. And then, uh, then, then, you know, it's crazy filming and editing it our, ourselves. Man. That is one of the craziest things to me, even after doing it for so long. It's just like, what? You, something's wrong with you, man. Man, something wrong with that both of us, bro. I'll be like, yo, you like this every day, bro? Yeah, like, Jesus what? Christ. Something, you, you, you got some screws that ain't there, but it's uh, all good. And it's crazy to see uh, uh, the elevation of like, damn, we was doing this, then it went to this, yeah. and I was going to that. And I'm like, oh, it's going, it's getting bigger each time. So I was like, man, come in. high five to us, nigga. Damn, man. Because, boy, we be Salute. doing this shit. Salute to you, bro. You too, nigga. Yeah. Real niggas, no real niggas, everybody. We, we not here making it happen. Man, if y'all knew, 
If y'all yeah. only knew that we can't talk about it. <laughs> Donkeys loose to Calvin and Road. Nigga, what? You know what I'm saying? Plenty, hey. of, plenty, of, plenty of uh chickens and goats that came through the farm. And died. Died, yeah. I won't say it like that. Got, they did. They it, did. Animals be dying, man. They be dying. I mean, it's a part of life, you know what I mean? And if you're really going to be farming and stuff, they going to die. They I gonna, mean, yeah. The animals that we have on the farm do not have a longer life expectancy than I. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> you can outlive all the yeah, animals. I'm a, yeah, yeah. I ain't, I ain't 89 yet, 93, 97. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not there. No. Yeah, so unless I get an elephant or something, but, you know, I don't think I can. I don't you know? think they're going to let you get an elephant in the city. And I can have, well, not in the city. I got to go to a country. I mean, but they got this, them safaris and stuff like that. Down in there Florida. In the no, we got, they got one. we got one in Georgia. Yeah, called Noah Art. Yeah, because I used to watch. You know, I like the animals. So they got a, a lion, a tiger, and a bear that all live together. Because apparently somebody was selling some big drugs, <laughs> and they had a lion, a tiger, and a bear, and they were raising them up together. So they took them over to that uh, Noah's Art sanctuary. I think uh-huh. it was. And they said when they uh, tried to split them up, they kept crying and stuff like that because they were raised up together. Oh. And so they got to put them together, and they live together. They eat together. They all homies. A lion, a tiger, and a bear. Well, yeah, they all got to eat the same shit damn near. Um, except the bear. Bear eat a little bit of meat. Yeah, he li- he eat a little bit of meat, but a bear eat uh more vegetables. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just eat the meat when um they need them extra calories. When they finna go they hibernate. hibernate. Yeah. yeah, they got to thicken up. Because if you look at it like uh them bears in Alaska and stuff like that, man, they doggone waste more fish than they eat. But the way it works in nature, see, they take the fish and they pull it all out into the uh, the the forest and stuff like that. Mm. And when that fish break down, it's provide the fertilizer for the trees and allow different uh, minerals and sediments and stuff like that from the ocean into the forest okay. that help with the prolification of the nature in the woods. Hello, somebody. Yes, so that's why the hoochie water be working better. Oh, the hoochie water be working, working. You know what I'm saying? But uh, for one, um, I think it's every 7 to 10 miles in a good ecosystem, a river can clean itself. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And at the same time, too, no matter where you are in a river situation, you're going to have fish excrements, you know what I'm saying? That's called fish poop. Fish poops. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Dead fish, the canned fish, all the uh, silt and soot and, you know, how they be talking about the Nile River and all that, why mm-hmm. that soil so good. They got all those type of minerals. And if you look at it, uh, the minerals that's in the soil that, that help the plants grow and all like that is just of abundance in that water. So, therefore, that water is alive, as I like to say. Oh. You know what I mean? That make that's why everything grow crazy when you touch it with the hoochie water. Right. Hoochie water, everybody it's for those alive. listening is uh, from the Chattahoochee River. Oh yeah, Chattahoochee. Oh yeah, we didn't explain. Yeah, because people is like, yeah. what the hell is hoochie water? I say it so often on my show, they probably know, but I forgot. I ain't been on no drops. Yeah, you you might as well you know just come saying? once a month, bro. You know what I'm saying? Come once a month, get yeah. it. Get, so. See, what uh what how did you end up getting the uh the day that you do the, the thing that's about to be in August though? Oh, okay. Cause that okay. was random. I was like, hell yeah, yeah we're check, gonna have check. crazy day. Check play, check play, how they say check play, right? Look, this is what had happened, right? We were gonna do a foreign tour. It's still gonna be a, a little foreign tour, but it's gonna be on steroids, West on Side. Steroids. Style. You did what I'm saying? But um what they were gonna do is they would send me up with the uh, people who wanted to orchestrate having uh, me on a farm tour. So when they came to the spot, they were saying that, okay, some people were saying this would be a good location to have vendors and stuff like that just because of the presence of the farm and how people talk about it on social media, so to speak. Gotcha. So then from there, I was like, well, really, I've been thinking about having my own like little festival thing where I block off the street, do this, do that. And they were like, oh, yeah. They were like, okay, I like the way this going. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, really? Because they were asking me where would be the best spot for vendors. And I was like, in the street, yep. off the rip. So it turned automatically then to, oh, we need permits. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, when you're in the street. yeah. Right. And then when they said permits, I was like, oh, well, I got a homie that um, is a car broker for the industry. So hopefully I can call him and he can bring out some dope cars and we can do like a mini car show. 
And then from there, it, it just, just like kept going. Kept going. And I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to have entertainment. We're going to have defer out there. Going to be out there and, talking and, crazy. You know what I'm saying? To these people. Yeah. Don't know what. what, <laughs> what, what oh, no. We ain't going to come out there and talk. Yeah, that's what you got to do. That's all. That, that's what you do. That's all. That <laughs> that people don't be like, I be talking. I don't even be telling jokes half the time. I'm yeah. just talking until I got to tell jokes. Yeah. Yeah, because most of the time you be hosting. Yeah. Yeah. So Hosting don't mean I got to tell jokes. jokes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then we're going to have, like I said, different vendors, damaged goods going to be out there. Um, that's my homie James who be doing the dope uh, pictures and stuff. Yeah, the one who was at the, the spot the other day? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then um, hopefully we get uh, you fight out there with UFO T. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we get some more people It's going to be a there. lot of people there. Yeah, my homie going to come out. He play the flute. I'm gonna perform flautist. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, uh, you remember? Uh, he ball. He he ball head and he kind of husky. He played the flute. That dude. Uh, John Connor. Oh, I don't know him. I don't know. I don't know John Connor. This sound like a white dude. No, he's a black dude. He from the west side. He went to Doug. Let me look baby. At John. I might know John you know Connor. Let me look it up. Look. Uh, we might have to go on um, Facebook or something. Okay, I'm about to see. You know what I'm saying? If I can't find it, I'm putting this phone down. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, who else? Who else? Uh, uh, Zay. He's supposed to perform. Um, we're going to have a good turnout. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's going to be a 21 up event. Uh, I send you the fly and everything. We all can look do. up the QR code or just go to Eventbrite and go to, I think it's Outdoor. I don't know where it is. Oh, yeah. I can't find John. Outdoor Fresh Street. Fest. Hello, somebody. That's Outdoor Fest Street Fest. No, 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 no. Oh, we lied. I don't say outdoor it no more. Outdoor Fresh Street Fest. That's what I said. No, you I said didn't it. break it up like that. You outdoor said. Fresh Street Fest. Yeah, you said Fest and Fest. Oh, okay, you my double bad. Fested. Double Fested. Double <laughs> Fested. Sounds wild. <laughs> Y'all out here double festing. What? <laughs> double Fested, bro. Ooh, that sounds like something more. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Porn hub. <laughs> That's how the beat go in my mind. Boom, boom. Beat meets. Sweaty men. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. I had to stop. We had to stop beating my meat, man. It was getting out of hand. Oh Lord, you was having yeah. self sex. No, I had stopped. I stopped since uh, <laughs> self. Too much self sex is. Yeah. yeah. Too. I think that's the thing. America is full of too much self sex. Yeah. Like, like at a certain point you be like, I don't wanna do nothing. After you to beat off, you don't wanna do nothing. <laughs> I just be lazy. You be like, uh send the webs <laughs> of my thumbs. I had a great time with myself. Yeah. You ever be disappointed in yourself, you get done. Like, this is a mess in here. What am I doing? I need Where to grow my up. Life is yeah, like, look at me. My pants are to my ankles right now. Ain't nobody in the house to see. It's the middle of the day. Yeah. <laughs> it is two PM. <laughs> I should not be like this. Right. No, I need to be doing something productive. Yeah, man. You know what and man? that bitch going crazy. And that bitch sweating a little bit. Woo! <laughs> Putting in work. Woo! <laughs> I done seen this one before. I don't need to be going through this. I seen her before. I need some new vagina to hit. So imagine yeah. that. Yeah. You sitting there like, nope, nope, <laughs> nope. Hmm. <laughs> Game time. No, nope. then you wait another 30 minutes, hour done pass. You ain't did nothing. They did nothing. Nothing. So the I was like, was it just, I just wasted time. It's like, this is stupid. So now I'll be like, man, I'm just going to keep my skeet to myself. <laughs> you got to keep it to yourself, man. Yeah. that's. I mean, yeah, yeah. If you understand, like, it's your chi. Yeah. You got to let it go up and go down and yep. go up and, you know, you work just, its course. Make you strong. But well, what I have noticed is when you don't beat your meat, I be on these holes. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if you don't release the way my, my <laughs> testosterone <laughs> set up, man. You just be walking through the street like you right there. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> yeah, for real? Put your number in this phone. I think I be scaring the hoes. I ain't going to lie. But they be working. They be like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I saw you the other day. I was going to my friend house. You scared me a little bit? Yeah. I'm going to pee on myself, but yeah. I like it. Yeah, I be coming. <laughs> it do be. I don't think they be getting it, like, ran up on like that. Like, running up on a girl with the testosterone and you ain't skeeting a long time is a lot of pressure on that lady. 
she is she she don't know how much pressure on her, but it's a lot of pressure because I be sitting there like I don't even use words for real. I be like, look, I think you cute. What's your name? Caveman. Yeah, straight caveman. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, this is my name. This is what I do. What you do? Cool. You single? Cool. Let me get your number. <laughs> Thank you, kindly. Then I just disappear. <laughs> That's all I do. And it, it, it didn't make you a savage, man. It, it really do make you like, oh my God, I, I, the tingles. Something, something is wrong on the inside. Yeah, I shouldn't be like this. <laughs> I, it, it's like a, it's like a, I don't know why it's like, it's just a, the testosterone, I could be feeling in my kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean, every the time. working out is not helping. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not, man. And I be sitting there like, why am I? I don't even like this girl like that. I just thought she cute. Yeah. Now, now I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. That's the way God wanted it to be. Turn my phone. <laughs> he said, that's the way God wanted it to be. That, you got to have the testosterone <laughs> and estrogen. Is like, they like counter opposites, but they help each other out. Yeah. Because it'd be days I'd be like, I need, to, I definitely need a woman right now <laughs> to do X, Y, Z. But I'm not going to do it because I got testosterone. Because I got to do it myself. I got to cook what? But I like to cook. But I can cook, though. That's the thing. I'm good at cooking, but I just be like, that means I got to set some time. Time, yeah, yeah, yeah. And right now, I'm on go mode. mode. Yeah. And that that would get a uh, locked up eating that crazy food. Yeah, you know ate a Wendy's. You done fucked around and ate a Baconator now. <laughs> you ate a Baconator. You ate a Baconator. Now you peeing and it stank. <laughs> pH balance off because you eating fast food. <laughs> You got to you got to you got to stick with the good food. Man. What you be I be seeing you cooking on the show. What you be cooking? Man, you know, I love mushrooms, so I'm always cooking some type of mushroom. I just uh the other day went with Day Day and we picked some chanterelle mushrooms. So, uh I'm what gonna is put that? that on. Chanterelle mushroom. That sounds like she got a bob. Chi- chicken of the woods. You ever heard of that? No, chicken I don't know what the hell that is. That's a mushroom. It's a, it's a little Centrail? Yeah. Named after a black woman? Yeah. It's a it down here. I'm about to Google it's, it. It's like orange looking, yellow looking. Up in Oregon and stuff like that, it's like white looking. Because we got a lot of acid in our soil. So the pH oh, balance of the uh, CH. These? Yeah. Wow, they do look. Yeah. Wow. It do look like chicken tenders if you do it right. Yeah. Well, I, I got some straight out. Me and they they forged them and got some straight out of the backyard. I got about like six, seven pounds on my been eating that one. Oh, man. Shouts out to Day Day, the goat man. The goat man, yeah. Also, another boy. Man. But that's a dope. You got to go check that uh, video out, too, me and Day Day on his uh, East Side Adventure. Because the first form we was at, that just went up. That was dope. But. Yeah, man. How many? I know you didn't film so much shit. I know you got so much stuff on the hard drive. Man, I do, but I try to. What I really be trying to do, I try to figure out one big thing that I got to do that week and just film that. Uh-huh. Because now, especially since it's summertime, it's so much work that got to be done. Do well, just them the 10, 15 seconds of me trying to move the camera and change the angle or explain yeah. it. That thing I know, I'm over there in the corner drinking water and chilling for another 30 <laughs> minutes because now my throat dry because I've been talking. You know what I'm saying? You ain't did no work he for real. No work. No work. Then I'd be like, oh, man, I got to leave it 30 minutes. And then I just try to get it all done real quick, but it don't never help. So I try to, you know what I mean, minimize my uh, TV time during yeah. the weeks because it's – it's it's challenging. I don't be watching no TV unless I'm chilling with somebody's daughter. Well, I'm talking about my TV, me. Oh, you, you oh yeah, you, you gotta yeah, you gotta have your time when you shoot it, and then be like, all right, I gotta work the rest. Yeah, yeah, like that. You got to. That's what this is technically. Yeah, yeah, cause you be working all the time. Like I be so tired like of goddamn TVs. I be like, fuck a computer. <laughs> <laughs> PTS processor. <laughs> fuck this processor. <laughs> fuck Wi-Fi. Fuck everything. <laughs> See. That's why I got to hurry up and get to the country. So when you have your day like that, you say, Lilo, what you doing? I know what you doing. You're on the phone. Here I come. What? That, what? I enjoy it, though. I, why you uh-huh. think I be naked in the goddamn garden? I don't like, be caring. This man don't never have on no shirt. No clothes. I mean, he just look like a, 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 a real straight Swahili Bushmaster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he just came straight out the Congo. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I be don't world? care, because I be like, bro, because I be around this all day, and I be like, I need to go outside. I know I need to go outside. My you body just, be telling your me. Body, you, just, you just sound like, for I need to go outside. I need to go. <laughs> I need that vitamin D on my system. 
That's the only way I feel strength. Look, but that, but see, well, I be outside so much. Sometimes I be getting allergic to the air conditioning. You know what I'm saying? I've <laughs> never heard that before. You can do that, man. If you work outside so much and you get so much sweat, but see, you don't never have no shirt on. So like my shirt and stuff would get. Oh wet. yeah, it'd be moist. It'd be moist. So then you get in the car and then that cold air hit you, boy. What you'd you be turn sick. that mud down? Hell yeah. And then then. Anytime you go in the shade, you can feel the, the cool, you mm-hmm. know how it be. So I be like, shoot, as long as the house cooler than outdoors, I be good. Turn the fan on. So, <laughs> that's all you need. Uh, when you cooking your mushrooms, what you be sauteing oh, them? Oh, man. Dang, I forgot you were asking about cooking, huh? Uh, I done sauteed them. I done grilled them. I done baked them. Um, I done, well, I ain't fried none on TV yet, but I'm going to fry some. Um, you I done made put them in batter and shit. Yeah, you put them in batter, depending on what they is. You just gotta get the moisture out on, so it had a right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I done made like like some chicken sandwiches with mushrooms. Okay. I could. Um, uh, I'm feeling like uh my boy bubble gum shrimp, shrimp. Uh, <laughs> <mushrooms>. <laughs> I got sauteed <laughs> mushrooms, pickled mushrooms. Yeah. I done did that before too. Pickled I done them? took some white uh, mushrooms and dropped them in the uh, after the pickles was gone because they're like pickles and dropped them in the pickle juice. And you just leave them? Yeah. For how long? I did some. Okay. You know what I'm saying they were pretty good. Uh, what else? Uh, grill. I said grill mushroom, mm-hmm. all kind of mushroom sandwiches, uh, mushroom steaks, sauteed mushroom, fried mushroom, boiled mushroom, mushroom soup. I just made a mushroom gravy. I know that um, shit good as hell. Yeah, I put that over some um, uh, mad potato. I was going to say, what the hell? Oh, okay, mashed potato. <laughs> mad potato. Oh, yeah, that's good as hell. You know what I'm saying? I know you be sleepy um, after you eat them mashed potatoes. Yeah, you do a little bit. Then I be eating, you know, I still eat like I'm playing feet ball or something. So <laughs> you know, if I eat, I eat big. I go. You're supposed to. Yeah, I go a while without eating, and then boy, I mash out, I eat. Dip him big, man, I think that's just how you're supposed to eat. You're supposed yeah. to have one big meal, like that. All the, whatever you ate before, go through your body, body. shit yeah. it out, yeah. Whatever you gotta go through, and then you like, all right, it's time to do it again. Yeah, you your body will tell you, your body yeah. will tell you, because especially me, like I said, I be outdoors and stuff. Yeah, and then when I'm out there water early in the morning, I ain't eat no breakfast or nothing, or I just worked out because normally I try to work out early, early, like four, five in the morning. You crazy, bro. I just get it on out of the way. You got to though. You know what I'm saying? Get it on out of the way. Do my little run. Whatever I'm gonna do. And then if I if I'm like you say on time, time nanny me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I be at the farm before <laughs> dog go on seven thirty eight. You know. And then by that time, I'm like, oh, I, I wanted to eat plants here, boy. We gotta go get a sandwich. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go get the salmon. You gotta get something in your system. Yeah. You'll die out there. Yeah, I don't know. Me Why too. you be letting me do goddamn farm work in Ramadan? My, you know what? Because I got a homie. I got a homie. Shout out to my boy Hussein. Big Hoos. What's up, bro? Uh, he is the first Muslim, like real deal Muslim I ever met. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody I know, we were Christian Baptists around here. If you ain't know how to sing Kick the Holy Ghost, you wouldn't hear no nothing. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't you know, we wouldn't hear no nothing. You know what I'm saying? I I I ain't, under, I ain't know nothing about why the Muslims, you know what I mean, where they sh- they paying too short and all like that. So I met my man Hoos. Mm. We play uh, football together at uh, University of Minnesota. Oh yeah. And so um, during Ramadan, like he man, that is the most strongest willpower individual I know because during Ramadan, this man would not eat nothing during the day. He would he wouldn't even drink water. Yeah, he would switch the mortar in his mouth and spit it out. You know what I'm saying? Just because he just needed some. And he would very rarely do that. But during Ramadan, man, that man, he would do both. And it's like two times you do Ramadan in a year or something? I believe so. Yeah, he do both of them. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, man. So two times a year, that man ain't eating right. They cussing him out. At, uh, the weight coat cussing him out because he losing weight. Doggone. But he going to every workout, he going to every class, going to every Crazy. practice. And so after I saw that, like, I just be like, no, nah, you don't, you don't got to eat and do all that. I mean, I yeah. do the same thing. Well, I don't go through Ramadan. That should be rough, man. I just I, took I, I the done, training wheels off. I, I done had a couple of days, like, if I be going, 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 
I think about it. I be like, but you ain't ate number like one meal in two, three days. You don't. You, know you don't mean? be knowing what you doing. You know. But as long as I, like I say, as long as you replenish that energy in your body, you know what I'm saying. You ain't faint it, did it? No, I ain't never faint. That's what's up. I just, <laughs> you know what if I'm a faint, I'm be like, let me go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I be curled up like an auntie on the bed. <laughs> just laid out like I'm going to sleep, y'all. Yeah, it's time to let my body rest. Yeah, I gotta let my, I let it rest. <laughs> <laughs> gotta let it rest. <laughs> That's so, that man, shit. so yeah, man. And then that's the other reason too why I be cooking on the show too, cause just to show people. A lot of people have always asked me over the years, like, okay, I did what you said. The plant growing. I done picked it. Now what I'm supposed to do? You don't know how to cook or eat. Well, you got to think about it. If you don't know how to, you don't know how to make ketchup because every ketchup you done ever bought in your life was out the stove. That's true. So you don't know. You just look at the back of the ingredients. You don't know how to do this and that and the third. You definitely gave me them beans and I was eating them hoes raw and I almost shit it on myself. Yep, yeah. Twice. <laughs> nigga. My stomach, nigga, I, I swear to God, this had, I thought my mama, I'm going to boo on myself. <laughs> All right, man, let me, I, I I was about to work out. My stomach was. Blah, blah, blah. Look, I told it. Look, okay, so look, did the story. Oh, no, the birthday weekend. Was it the birthday? It was the yeah, week before. The week before, okay. No, it was my birthday weekend. I ate it. Yeah. Because cause I had tried just... to get some vagina, and I had the upset stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Lord, just help me not have boo-boo in my drawers. <laughs> if I put my pants down, because I might have a little stain. I hope. I, I was scared to fart that day. <laughs> look, look, he said. I swear to God. He said he was eating what? You were eating um, I was raw eating beans. And then what else I gave you? I just tomatoes. had beans. I already had ate the tomatoes was the first thing gone. <laughs> I was just eating beans. I'm like, this shit, all right. <laughs> so, and I was telling her, as he told me he did that, I was like, oh, yeah, that's why you got the shit. Yeah. <laughs> you just ate a whole bunch of fiber that was full of nutrients. You they know got, what I'm saying? Your body was not ready for that. Clean me out. Yes, boy. sir. Yes, sir. I was, cl- I was on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> Dude, my shoe flew off. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. It was going crazy in the bathroom. Look, look, look. Then what day they say, he said, he said the other day he had uh, ate no uh, meat because we had picked the mushroom. And I told him, I showed him my plate that I had to cook. He said, boy, you ain't got nothing in there to hold nothing in. He said, I know you shit. It just, ooh, wrapped around. Go on your side. You had to scrape it on the side, didn't it? And his bottom fell out. Yeah. It be loud as a... <laughs> Sound like niggas tap dancing in that toilet. Is it Gregory Hines in here? <laughs> Sound like the Zion just yeah. came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, nigga, shit, you just be coming out disheveled and tired like I need to take a nap. Ooh, where's the Gatorade? <laughs> Man, like, <laughs> be like, I need some Gatorade and some saltines, please. <laughs> nigga, I was trying to find bread frantically in the house. <laughs> I need to stop this. <laughs> He was like, get some bread. The first thing I did was like, let me go find some bread. Because this is not what I need right now. I got seven hours before I get some vagina, and I need to get my shit together. And the clock is ticking. Nigga, I got to that. I was like, oh, thank God. <gasps> I was so scared to fart, too. I was like, if I, a nigga, little doo doo going to dribble yeah, out. You gonna be, it going to be like a uh, goat dog. <laughs> you got to drop a, a little dollar of doo doo in your, in your pants now. Now you got to figure out. What do I do next? Man, nigga, ain't no hurt. Look, then you got to go with no draws. Nigga, I'm not. not Free balling. Not going to do it. <laughs> not going to do it. <laughs> not if I'm, I'm not. Nigga, balls. In the, <laughs> my balls is in shorts in 90 degree weather, and I've just doodled everywhere. <laughs> it's not a good thing for nobody. It's going to be wild. Because if yeah. I, no, man. You got, you got to go home immediately. Yeah. And switch them draws you over to black. A, you got to take a shower. Nigga, I had on I had on yellow drawers that day oh, too, man. nigga. I yeah. was gonna dis- I was I was scared to look in you there. Got, you got here with the one well, that gorilla. Why like she said you got with the black drawers? Nigga, like what? So you don't see the skin marks. Yeah, you don't. I didn't have none. Thank God. I, <laughs> I just had regular melanin that rub up off my body on there. Cause it ain't nothing you can do about it. You can be as clean as you want to, but you put on some light colored drawers, you are gonna disappoint yeah, yourself. Yeah, they go they go definitely turn some shades. Yeah, on. they <laughs> you gonna have a little khaki stain. And, I, and I, it's not doo doo. It just be your body rubbing yeah. up on it. Yeah, especially in the, in this Georgia heat. And Man, it, they, it really what it is. It's just the humidity. Yeah, that's the humidity in my drawers. And, the, <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to dig in your pocket to get your drawers, your briefs out. Now yeah. you feel like you got on panties. Yeah, they would be riding up a little bit. Be like, man, I don't care. Then 
I thought that was just when you have on old draws. No, you have on some brand spanking new ones, Jack. Yep. They going to ride on you. You're going to be up in your ass. Now, if you wipe good, you straight. But if you one of them fellas that don't be wiping good, boy, you in for a surprise. Man, you, got, you, better keep, you better keep some of them doggone baby wipes or something in your, uh, in your little man bag. My you homeboy said man? it's a thing called dude wipes. You got to get you some dude wipes. Yeah, they got them. They didn't number baby wipes. Yeah. They're supposed to be masculine. Yeah, like, bitch, I don't want to smell like cedar wood. Yeah. Keep me clean. I mean, at the end of the day, booty hole hell still going to get. Boy, you, you got to dig on the. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, no. I had a little bit of corn in there. <laughs> Boy, you ever wash your ass and you be like, you look at the water, like, yeah, I shouldn't tell nobody. I just saw it go down the drain. <laughs> Boy, it looked like goddamn wild rice that fell out my ass. All them colors. You be like, what the hell am I doing with my life? <laughs> Where am I going what am I doing? I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to treat yeah. you this way. <laughs> Booty hoes are better. This nigga treating us like shit. <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, shouts out to the niggas that know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's everybody. Even women be women, having women. stains. Yeah, they be. I mean, because they be out here. They be working hard, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They having that vaginal discharge in them panties. I mean, then, you know, we in the age of equality. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> they got to go out there, too. You know yeah. what I mean? They don't be wanting to do it though. You can tell you see it in their spirit. Some of them do, some of them don't. It's about like ninety you know I mean? don't, ten percent do. But at the same time too, that's the same ratio with us men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's so many bums out here. Boy, you be sitting there you like, nigga, this is how you really feel. Yeah. What a hoe. Uh, man, you is such a bis bis oh bis made ass man. Bis made. You know, bis made. You know what I'm saying? Uh but, make sure y'all wipe y'all bottoms, everybody. Please do. You know what I'm saying? Don't treat your booty hole like a stepchild. Yeah, it's still your booty hole. It- <laughs> <laughs> it's still your booty hole as a shirt. You know what I'm saying? It's still your booty hole. Oh, my hole, God, man. man. It is yours. Take care of it, okay? Hey. You only get one. <laughs> you only get one booty hole. It Especially really- if you got a lot of hair in it. Ladies, stop trying to eat booty holes. We are not. I'm not here for that. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop this. <laughs> Look, he just had a oh my bad. He just had a real PSA moment. Yeah, right man. That, women be listening to the internet thing. That shit cool. To the nigga be like, eat my ass, and you see all that hair. <laughs> now nah, what you gonna do, lady? This man is Lamborghini. This nigga is out here tooted and rooted, ready for you to go. That nigga slides is ready, <laughs> trying to get ate out by you, and he got a whole fro with little remnants of boo boo in it. Now what you gonna do now since you want to be eating niggas out? <laughs> It is stupid, man. I got to tell that. Hey, I got to stop this eating. I eat a nigga. No, you not. You not finna eat no. No grown man that really do shit for real is going to let you eat him out. Man, look, man. Everybody. I guess it's every, everything for everybody, man. Man, ain't no girl going. I don't care how freaky. If a bitch be like, yeah, I want to eat you out. And you come to the bed as is. Oh, no, you can't come After the Even if you shower, bitch, I'm going to still need a comb in the park. <laughs> I'm going to need to grease these bad boys for you. Because you're going to have a mouthful of booty hole hair. And after I see that, I can't kiss you no more. You can't, you can't kiss it in the mouth? No. It's your booty. Yeah, but no. <laughs> Hell no. Ask anybody. Men, if any girl has ever ate you out, Lamborghini your door, pushed the start at you like a Nissan Altima, let me know if you looked at her different after that. Because there's no way on the guys you earn, I'm going to get eight out, and then she's going to look at me the same. <laughs> you get eight out, and you over there in the corner with your, in your, in your, and bundled up in the bundled covers. Bundled up in the covers. Looking like a hoe. And then, so that was, that, that she can't look at you the same. No. no. Ain't no way. It's no way she is. <laughs> That's just like if she put a finger in your butt. She ain't going to look at you the same. She's like, well, if I put a finger, maybe I could do two fingers. Oh, Lord. Gateway drug to pegging. <laughs> you know, that's training. Yeah, she's training you. She's training you for the pegger. And after pegging, she's gonna be fisting you, my boy. And now oh, y'all, man. now we in some other shit. See, see, in too deep. Yeah, now you in there getting eight out and blew out. <laughs> Get your back blown yeah. out. This nigga shoes flying off again. <laughs> oh, well, take it easy, homie, baby. This my first time. Man, I know. I'm not finna do that. Oh man, that is too funny. Well, that that was like that first season of what that show was, Shameless. 
Man, Boy, that it, dude, that dude, he was getting the back blown out by a wife. <laughs> see that in my mind, I just hear the note. Just, you like that? No. What are we doing right now? It's just supposed to be me. I don't do this. <laughs> I'm just, I just can't like women. Be, it'd be so funny. To hear women be like, I'll be pegging dudes. Like, what dudes are? Is, are these dudes that you like or you cherish? These not <laughs> niggas you don't like. like. You these not dudes that they like or cherish. Like, just, like that's, that's really that's really the type of dudes you want. That's point. what I'm saying. They not about to like him for real. There is no way that a woman that had an, ate her dude out and blew his back out, she loved that man. It's a small percentage. I don't know. I, I got to ask, ladies, <laughs> if you done ate your man out and put a finger in his butt and pushed the shark, start his gooch, and that, that's the part where there's no butt and there's nothing. There's just boop. See if he skeet. <laughs> you be having your man skeeting on soft. Nigga, if I skeet on soft, I'm not something. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> what we got going on, guys? You just made me skeet on soft. Don't touch me, ladies. <laughs> You a wizard. I done been, uh, been violated to the utmost. You done called it home. Hey, man, you ever skied it on soft? <laughs> Nigga, me neither. This is my first time. It was crazy, man. Well, she, I didn't do it. She did it. Yeah, she pressed the button in my hole and whoop. Here it is. I'm telling you, bro. Oh, gee, what? Skeeting on soft, I'm telling you. Don't push to start me, lady, because I'm not trying to skeet on soft. The, <laughs> I'm not trying to skeet. Oh jeez, man! That that we just talked about a lot. <laughs> yeah, real quick. But also, well, um, I know we gotta you got have albums. a volunteer. We gotta have a volunteer day sometime soon. When you when you want to have it, I'm just just let me know. Probably we just need a month to promote it. So no, we, we used to do. We used to do. It'll it be crazy. Weeks. Too many yeah, people. Yeah, yeah you're we right. Just, two weeks. We just do it like two weeks. Cause that should be crazy when you really promote. Like, oh God, everybody yeah. coming. Yeah, I don't. Then, but then it'd be like, oh God, everybody coming. Then they don't come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They wait. They everybody two weeks, two weeks ahead. Oh, yeah. I'm in there, I'm in there. But like you said, you know what I'm saying? It's Friday, uh, I mean, it's a uh, Saturday morning or a Sunday morning. Oh boy, it was too hot out there already, boy. I just went to sleep about two hours ago. I'll be yeah. all right. Like, so who cares, pussy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't be caring, man. I, I don't be. I don't. I think I just reached the point of life. Like, man, I don't be caring no more. Like, what's the? I done died. Twice and came back to life, <laughs> and I'm here. What are we doing? He said, I died twice. Twice, my nigga. And I'm like, oh, no, okay, I, now I gotta be a savage now. I no, understand you, completely. Because he done died twice. Died twice, got resuscitated by, the, by, the, by God. <laughs> God was like, we don't need you down here, my boy. We need to raise you up. <laughs> I swear to God. You think what I'm joking? Happened? What the heck? Nigga, that, <laughs> nigga, you just seen me die twice. <laughs> you seen me die twice. You just seen me die twice. Like, man, that bitch ain't shit. I did. I'm like, man, nigga, let me, man, I don't even give a fuck. I'm, I'm out here yeah. in these streets. Yeah. Testosterone did. got me. Yeah. Testosterone and God. Yeah. That, weed, testosterone, and a little bit of shrooms. shrooms. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, nigga, be getting me through life. You know what I'm saying? It may, sometimes it made the rainbows appear out of nowhere. Hey, facts. You, you could be you could be in the middle of dying, and you'd be like, you know what? Come and take me, God. Get me, God. I'm with it. You gotta let you gotta <laughs> let go. I think that's one thing as a person. It'd be like you got to get out your own way. When you realize you out your own way, you just gotta let go and let God. Yeah, you just gotta like I tell people, and they they would tell say it too. All the other day when we were together. Like, all we got to do is just plant the seed, you know what I'm saying, and nurture yeah. it, and then God do the rest. That's yeah. the beautiful thing, like, why I really love farming and gardening, and hopefully that's the thing that I'm sharing with other people is, you know what I mean, it amazes me to this day to put a seed in the ground, you know what I mean, start to see it emerge out of nowhere, and then turn into something gigantic with thousands or hundreds of fruits on it. Man. You know what I'm saying? And then the process of, like, the dude for him we just went to the other day, he hasn't watered his at all just from rainwater. Wow, that's crazy. And I tell people all the time, if you think about it, before all these builders and stuff was here, what was here? Trees, fruits, the vegetables, the animals, yep. 
all this stuff was already here without us touching a thing, without us planting anything, putting anything in any kind of order, anything like that. So that always amazes me at the uh, the abundance that is provided from nature, you know what I mean, and that we can have just by understanding, mm-hmm. knowing, learning, applying that knowledge, and then further learning more to in how we can work together with it. So I'm always amazed by it, you know. Like I tell people all the time, whether you call it God, the universe, the unknown, unknown, the dark matter, whatever scientific name or name you want to call it, man, it's very abundant here on this planet that we live on. And that's the abundancy that we all can have and should share in. But, you know. The way life is, it like, it, it blew my mind when I first realized what you just said was real when we, the first time I brought food home from the garden. And the zoo candy was the size of these mics. Right. And I was sitting there like, this is this shit coming out the garden every week? Man, every like, day. Like, I mean, you got to think about it, bro. Back then, not even using... The techniques that I use now, back then, we were getting 40 to 60 pounds, 50 pounds a week for eight weeks straight. That's crazy. Eight weeks straight. You see what I'm saying? Like, getting over 40 pounds of produce every week. Nobody can really eat that much produce. That's a lot. And then you got to think about, like, how bad, I mean, how quickly it may go bad because it's so fresh. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And it's not like the stuff that's on commercial use, the way they using these different techniques, so it might pick them early so they can ripen in the store. Man, you know how sweet them tomatoes. Man, I eat tomatoes eat. all day and shit on myself a little later. Yeah, like crazy. You won't have nothing off in you. You be no. seeing little tomato seeds come out. Like, you do be slide like. <laughs> <laughs> you ever took the banana out the peel and it do be sliding out? <laughs> you be like, hey, Lilo, you gotta eat me, bud. <laughs> You know, you got to have a plate right there. <laughs> you you got to get ready for a banana sandwich. <laughs> banana sandwich. That's exactly yeah. how it be, man. So, yeah, man. So, it, it's it's great, man. It's awesome, you know. And then Bright Bright, he's super cool. To go hey, man, on. the fact that y'all be jumping off st- stuff together be hilarious. Oh, yeah. I'll be like, this nigga really got a pet goat, and they be doing shenanigans. Yeah, we do. We do. I got to start, I guess, recording myself more doing shenanigans with him. He might really need to just go ahead and have his own Instagram page. Oh, they'll but love him, bro. He's not of age yet. I got to watch out for the goat pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> What? You know what I'm I gotta protect my. I gotta protect my. What, uh, what, do, my they, youngest. what do they be saying on the slide in your DMs? Like, how old is he? I, I don't know, man. But that's the thing, man. Go better folks. Bestiality is real, man. Oh, people be trying. To, oh man, I hope niggas ain't trying to fuck on the goats. Well, not well, not around here. I hope, but yeah, man. People I have to, people used to do that. My mama got a story about that when they were growing up. Man had to rape they goats. <laughs> He was raping goats in the neighborhood over in Pittsburgh, Zone 3. Man, we run around raping goats. What the fuck? Because you got to think about it. Everybody in the city, in Atlanta, I'm going to say, were basically old country folks. You see what I'm saying? And they just in the city. Right. Kind of like me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They had fruit. They used to have fruit trees there. Well, you get to pick the fruit trees out the old folk yard. You know what I'm saying? They used to always have tomatoes and... Raping goats you know I mean? is wild. Yeah, 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 but... People do that. People really do that. They just sneak in at night and just be like, I, I had my eye on, on this black sheep over there. I don't know. I ain't never raped no goat. They just be like, oh, <laughs> yeah. And they can put on this ski mask, like, got like a, a flashlight. Like that yeah, one. you like see it. Like that. I went down in the Lilo house and I saw this goat was thick than a motherfucker. Should have 100,000 followers on Instagram. It's so thick, goddammit. On the tiptoe, I had to look at him. I started plotting immediately. Let me come back Quit. here and dust. I'm going to get it. I'm going mm. to get it. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They be out there I'm doing I'm going to get it. Yeah. I'm going to get it. I'm going to wait. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look. Look. <laughs> oh, goat pedophiles. They out there. Ah, yeah, I could just sit in there. <laughs> just be in the corner just looking, smoking a cigarette. cigarette. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 That white one right there is ripening. She good for the taking. Mm-hmm. 
Ain't even for the take for the stroking, my boy. You think they put condoms on they sell? I or they be know. in there raw in it? I don't know. You, they be doing. They, I mean, I done heard of folk, uh, fucking chickens. Yeah, you gotta have a little wee wee to do that. Uh, uh, I don't know. I ain't never chickens this big. I'm a human. I like human women. I like human. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm like. Ugh. First of all, people that's that's having sexual relationships with animals, you are weird. Yeah. Yeah, You're very weird. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you got some other stuff going on in your brain. I mean, but you got to think about it. You remember when we were younger, them women used to be with them horses? Yeah, but then they end up blowing the insides out. out. Exactly. You done put a horse <laughs> shaft up in you and pulled it off. Mm-hmm. All your uterus and hit the floor. <laughs> right next to the dandelions and the sarsaparilla. <laughs> I don't. I think they started. Oh shit! I seen Maggie done fucking around and got the uterus tore up by the stallion. I don't think we need to be doing this no more. Put your skirts up, ladies. Let's get out of here. I just feel like that. Like you, after seeing that one time, you should be like, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Man, people do a lot of things we shouldn't be doing. You right. You, you right. Know what I'm saying? Us as a species is off the chain. We we be doing the stupidest shit. We be making science out of food. Nigga, what the hell is an impossible burger? I mean, it's a science. It's a science. You eating science, I mean, but, nigga? You, I mean, but now they done made it legal and they done told you that they be feeding science in this meat. Man, and I've been telling people, like, bro, don't, like, don't go eat fresh food and shit. Don't go buy no vegan snack. Anything that come in a pack that say vegan, don't eat that shit. Man, but see, that's what we got to, once again, is the knowledge because you can grow these things. And, like, you remember that time at the farm I had made them uh, vegan um, hamburgers? Yeah, you did with the walnut with meat. The walnut, yeah. And I, I, I got all those materials, blended them up, you know what I'm saying, made it at the crib, and everybody loved it, you know what I mean? I didn't yeah. feed it to nobody who had no meat al- I mean, not no meat, but nut allergies, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But uh, it was delicious. It was. It was delicious. That was my first time having one. Yeah, that's my first time, too. I didn't even know it was a thing until I became vegan, and I was, you know what I mean? Walnut meat. Yeah. Well, like, tell people about what you need to do when you become vegan, because it's a process. I know I started t- cold turkey, and I had to go get, like, uh, supplements and shit. Well, I, I just <clears throat> did it cold turkey, you know what I'm saying? And then, for me, um, personally, like, working out and stuff like that, I was going to the doctor, and I was having, uh, they would tell me, like, I was, like, borderline high cholesterol. So then I was like, oh, that's crazy. I'm going to be borderline high cholesterol and I'm doing all that work and working out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So then I cut out the red meat and then it was just chicken and fish, you know, from the west side, man. Yeah. You got to have our hot wings. It's got damn I mean? churches right there. Well, yeah, they can have that one. You know? <laughs> I want hot wings. You know what I'm saying? I need me a 20 piece. You know what I'm saying? Hot with lemon pepper sprinkles. That's okay. how I used to get it down. You said a 20 piece. You know what I'm saying? Some fries on the side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... Um, yeah, I still was having high cholesterol. Then I started, uh, well, I did start, I watched two documentaries. Documentary Game Changer, because that was a dude on there, and he was talking about from an athletic standpoint um, mm-hmm. of what was the best diet to help repair your body from injuries. And then he did a whole bunch of scientific tests and stuff, and it was like, oh, wow, that's crazy. Then I watched A Life on This Planet. With the old dude David, whatever the the uh, European dude, he on everything. If you watch any nature documentary, ninety percent of the time you hear his voice. Oh, okay. The dude who been there for a thousand years, he's like ninety some years old, but he got a uh, documentary called I think it's a Life on This Planet or something like that or something, and it's basically shows how the Earth has changed and how much we have destroyed the Earth in his ninety years of living. Mm. And so from there, I was like, dang. And then me being a farmer, I already know about a lot of the stuff. So it's like, okay, I can't be out here, you know what I mean, talking about living one with nature and doing all this stuff, but I'm still heavily using these <coughs> practices and stuff. Yeah. And then from there, I quit eating meat. Uh, my cholesterol went down, and then I did a... Uh, Got my blood type done. Oh, yeah, what are you, O positive? A, a positive. Oh, uh, what ve- fruits and veggies? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, the only the only type of meat that would be good for my body. And then that when I found out that fowl, poultry, chicken, turkey, the thing that I love the most is the most harmful thing for my body. Damn, nigga, that's like, damn, that's the worst. 
worse. That's how I was when worse. I found out my blood type too. What you is? Uh, o positive. The lady told me mm. I was like, "Yeah, lady, I'm a vegan." And she was like, "You're stupid because you're yeah. supposed to be eating meat." Yeah. I was like, "What?" Yeah, you gotta. It's like that's why I'm like this. Okay. Yeah. And Damn. then, and then it was crazy. It said the only thing that I could, I really supposed to eat. You know what I'm saying? Is uh, cold water fish like salmon from Alaska. Uh, sardines and I think like cod or something, but I'm like, man, I stay in Atlanta home. Like, where I'm gonna get? Well, you can get but, sardines, but but see, but I don't you know. Don't eat it. Yeah, I mean, but it's still not fresh yeah. water. It's still probably gonna be in a farm raised. It's gonna be I in mean, a can. And yeah, all the sardines they don't give you no fresh sardines. It ain't like we out here eating them like seals. Yeah, you if know it was, saying? it would have been crazy. It'd be niggas pulling out sardines like potato you chips. Got potato chips. Let me get a wrap snack sardine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> a little baby flavor. <laughs> a little baby flavor heat sardines real quick. Yeah, man. That type of thing. It ain't like we on Futurama or nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was like, okay. Then I said, yeah, I guess I don't supposed to be eating meat. And that's how it happened. So all that to say, go get your blood type check. Facts. You know what? You're eating, you know what I'm saying, know what you're supposed to be eating, and you literally are what you eat, and therefore you are whatever you are eating has eaten if you can break that down. So whatever your plants have eaten, whether they eat some poisonous or some bad soil or something, you're going to be eating poison or bad soil. If your cow that you done ate that hamburger out of that had a stressed out life, you eating stress, you know what I'm saying? Damn. So you got to think about those type of things. That's why, once again, farming is very important to me because if you know where your food comes from, you know how it was grown, then you know that it's safe and it's going to give you the best nutrition possible. You know what I mean? If you know that, okay, X, Y, and Z, I'm just going to say Lilo. You know what I mean? Fur, what you need, what kind of meat you need to eat for your opossum? Uh, red meat and it say chicken, but mostly red meat. Red meat, yeah, red because chicken really it's, ain't that. that yeah, it just be that. like it's it's here. Yeah, I mean because <clears throat> you got to think we're mammals. A chicken is a reptile, so you know what I'm saying. That's two totally different species. I didn't even know chickens was reptiles. Yeah, they they came. They are broken down derivative of the raptors. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. So that's why they run like that. They don't really. They don't fly. Anything. They do fly. They can fly, but the ones that we used to are too big to fly. Okay. They so they can genetic. fly. We just making them obese. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, chick. Because if you if you have some wild uh, chickens or uh, wood birds, they smaller too. Yeah, because they got to be able to run. They smaller and at nighttime they roost in the um, trees, so they'll fly up in the trees and they'll get on the edge of the limbs. So, like, just say a cat or something trying to get them, whatever come up that tree and hit that that branch, they know they straight because whatever come is going nine times out of ten gonna fall off the tree because it's trying to get, get them. them. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah, damn, we making obese chickens. Yeah, we making everything obese and stressed out. You know what I'm saying? That's that boy. That's Look at America. Yeah, I mean, fifty-one percent of people in America is obese. Yeah, and stress, <clears throat> and I, I don't know the statistics on the stress, but a lot of us are stressed. Yeah, we be stressed. That's why I be taking my ass to the gym and doing trims. Yeah, because I be like, God, nigga, I don't be stressing about shit. My, that why I, I be one. That way, I mean that the real thing that stressed me out is not really being able to be fully a part of nature. Like I yeah. feel like my soul desires. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Part of you just wake up, pop out of a tree. Yeah. You know Good morning. What? Good mor- I wanna I wanna be able to yell, well come to forever, West Side, West Side, West Side. Yeah. And then nobody don't say nothing back. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, Shut the hell up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy nigga. Yeah. I won't, you know what I mean? The last couple of days it's so smoggy out here. You can't even see a plane take off. You know, what I, I mean? did see the, the smog from Canada. It's crazy. I was like, damn, how many fires crazy. do they have to reach Atlanta? Crazy, so much smog. So it's like all these different things. You know what I mean? And like I say, I love nature. I can go outside and I can literally sit outside, not do nothing, and watch things happen around me. Yep. You know what I mean? Just sit. I can look at a lake in the shade. Obviously, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to be in the shade. All this stuff I'm talking about when I'm not doing nothing, 
I'm in the shade. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be. But I can sit there and watch the lake, watch the bugs on the lake, then watch a, a, a fish come up and grab it out the, off the top of the water. And I can sit there and watch that repeat over yep. and over again because I know that I have plenty of seeds and they will grow. Yep. You know what I mean? But that's just nature. That's just me and my hippiness, so. Yeah, yeah, man, my homeboy said I'm a hippie, too. The big, tall nigga. He's like, you just, just a hippie. You love everybody. I'm like, uh, you right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't be. I, I it's don't, just how I'm built. Yeah, I mean, I don't I mean, I mean, don't dislike nobody. You know what I mean? My grandma always told me, don't hate nobody. You just or don't dislike nobody. Just dislike their ways. And hopefully the goodness out of you will shine in them. And then they can, you know what I mean, start living and moving in a better path. Yeah, that so. is true. Cause I'm, I mean, I'm not about a whole bunch of talking about this, that, and the third. Just pay attention, watch what I'm doing. If you got some questions, I yes. answer. It. But I'm just here to help you. I ain't here to try to tell you. Yeah, I don't know the way all the way, nigga. What I be listening, I be like, oh, I don't know shit, but I know a little bit. Yeah, I don't know nothing. You know what I mean? And once you realize that, you just do you better off. Like, oh, I know yeah. this. Yeah, because that's when you you open yourself up. For the continual, the continual learning process to happen in your life, a lot of people don't. A lot, most of Americans, I feel like, stop. Not feel like I, I know for a fact, stop opening their uh, their life up to continual learning. I feel like once people get to a place, they're like, "All right, I've reached this point, and I'm done." Right. I don't I mean, want to know more. I don't want to know less. I'm gonna be right here, and because, I can't do that. I mean, that's the same. That that that's how uh, we have. If you look at at it in what is it? What is the, this type of living? We are colonialism, whatever. Whatever we're doing. The, yeah, the people who went out there in the woods, living with nature and living in huts and making their houses out of mud. Got gotcha. you. You know what I'm saying? The the people who not the Aboriginal people. You know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. If you look at the regions and where they came from, they had nothing. So they had the pillage and stuff like that. It's dismal. It's foggy. It's boring. It's bland. Yeah. So when they came to see all this greatness everywhere, we got to devise a plan. You know what I'm saying? Get all this greatness. You're right. We balling up greatness and selling it to y'all folks. That's selling it right back to us. Yeah, boy. You know? But, but the thing is crazy is, uh, to me, like I said, we living in a man-made society, you know what I mean? When you start living in a nature-made society, it really shows you how uh, minute we are as a, a organism, being every individual person, but at the same time, too, how prolific we are and how we can help everything around us, or we can destroy it, you know what I mean? The yeah. choice is, yeah. old, is ours. And we, we enjoy destroying it more so than help because destroying is easy. I mean, it is, but that's just the way our brains work. At the end of the day, even for me to farm, you know what I mean, I have to destroy things. You do. I have to, you know what I mean, take things that burn it, burn it, you know what I mean, pull up plants that are living, you know what I mean, even though I might give them the goat dog, you know what I mean, for him to eat. Yeah. But it's still something is dying in the process. Yep. You know what I mean? So I look at things like that, and it's like, okay, even though I know I have to do this destruction, I need to be doing this destruction to then help as much as I can. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the yin and the yang. Like, shit, this, this version of whatever we're doing in life, like, I hit a... Oh man, everything else that I was doing before had to die in order for oh, something yeah. else to open, open up, up and live. I mean, because. And, and it's, it's hard to accept that shit as a person, man. Yeah. I mean, because we think we know, but we, like we said, we have no idea. I don't be knowing shit. I just you be doing. I mean? Yeah. And then that's the thing. Like, we don't, we don't, at the end of the day, all we could do is live in the now. You know yep. what I mean? We can work toward the future, you know, remember whatever happened in the past. So we don't want to re create the same mistakes or redo the same bright bad thing. That's really Thanks. the only thing in the past, you know what I mean, is for me. Yeah. Not redoing the negative stuff and enjoying the positive stuff that had happened because on them bad days, that would keep a nigga going. Yep. You know what I mean? Keep you going. So it's and like. growing. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to work for that. I'm going to get stuff prepared for that. But when I go to sleep tonight, 
<laughs> we gonna wait and see what happens in the morning. You exactly. see what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. That's crazy. You got any new music? I heard Beans the other day. Oh, Beans, I just dropped that. Uh, I got two more tracks, I think, that need to get dropped. Uh, Say the Rain and... I can't remember the title of the album, but you're going to hear it. Make sure y'all go check out your boy Lilo on them streaming platforms. They put in International Lilo, you know what I mean? And they'll pop up. YouTube got a whole playlist. Listen to all 20 of them things at one time. You feel me? iTunes, what it now? Is it Apple Music? Apple Music. Well, that's iTunes too, really. Yeah, that's there. Yeah, I'm said on it. now. I'm you're on, on all now. other streaming all platforms. That. Yeah, yeah. You get Spotify on that, on now. You know yeah. what I mean? Music videos is up and out on socials too. Yeah, yeah. We got more coming uh, to you. So yep. stay tuned for that. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, we're just making the plaque and the happening. Staying with it. So going to get it and teaching these people how to grow with it. Hello, somebody. You know what I mean, I remember he was like, "Bro, when you gonna get in the studio?" Like, bro, I think we should make a goddamn, a goddamn workout album. Man, we can do all that. Whatever yeah, a workout album, and then it go to a yoga album. How many? In the same one. That's how they you did. You make it like a the check. Day day they day did. Day. That's how it is. It gotta be like it gotta go high, crazy, and then it go to like smooth mm-hmm. out. You know, what we should do. We should do a double album. One full workout album. And then one full yoga album and call it yin yang. Yeah, I'm with it. I'll do it. Okay. Shit, we about to do it. This shit going <laughs> to This gonna be crazy as hell. I'm with that. This shit gonna be crazy as hell. And then we gotta uh and we gotta I gotta start we, we, getting on stage a little bit more and start working on my comedic time and you then. just it's just talking, bro, and call well, and response. Nowadays, shit. It, nowadays it is, cause you know I can join. I'm from that west. Yeah, side. you, you got it. You just gotta work that little little shit out. You gotta come out uh shit. Tonight. What you doing Friday? Come What's to the spot. Today Thursday. No, today man. Wednesday. Friday. Oh, uh, See, I told y'all I don't be knowing. <laughs> East Point. Uh, we be having a. Uh, oh, that's the Oaken Mike. Uh, yeah, the you o- could you could come and do Mike. shit. Oh, I seen. Guess who was at my show the other day? Ooh. The the Indian the Indian dude you said just came from America just came to America a couple years I mean a couple the couple the comedian yes yo this, for he real? came he came and heard me um on the farmers panel and then he was talking about his family do commercial farming in India they do rice and they make potato and they grow potatoes for a uh, Frito Lay Potato Company the potato chips potato chips that's crazy and then so me and him were talking I was like yeah. Muhammad Fur, he was like, I do comedy. And I said, You do comedy? And he was like, Yeah. I was like, Oh, I, mean, I need to introduce you to Muhammad Fur. And he was like, D fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Yeah, D fuck. I know D fuck. I did his show a couple times on Pizza Street. Yeah, yeah that's him. That, that's the rapist. That's yeah. the rapist. Hey, ain't it? Ain't it? That's, that's, him. It. that's him. I knew it. Cause I he it. he got the accent and it be like, yo, it throw you off, but it's, it's it make you laugh at the same time. Yeah. Cause I was like, I was like, I was like, he yeah, yeah. I say, I want to say, I want to say, you the rape him, boy, ain't it? <laughs> but I didn't want to say it like that, you know. But immediately when he said who he was, I knew from you telling me he he like he got the rape him joke. Man, I'd be like, bro, this nigga's wild. Don't say that outside <laughs> of here, bro. I'm just letting you know the white people are gonna throw the book at you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, that had done caught me on guard. But I just want to tell crazy, you, man. homie, homie out here, he repping. Come Friday, man, because I'm hosting. You, all you gotta do is uh, sign up on the list and then send your email email your songs you're gonna do, and you rock out. I'm be bringing you up. So okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be up. So whatever it is, it's wireless mics. You can smoke in there. What wireless mics? Yeah. I ain't never performed with wireless mic. I was going I said that time I'm gonna have to hit them with the TK Kirkland and throw the thing over my shoulder because them cord be getting in the way. They do, man. And yeah, you could do it. Yeah, it's real nice. We just started last week. We started last Friday. My homeboy from from the Rock came down and he performed. Okay. He did a he did a little quick little two minute song, but you could do as many songs as you want. Okay. They say three minutes, but I'm like, man. My man, like four songs. I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, look, I'm hosting. Look, 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 we paying for 12 minutes. I got like, you. Let, let go. Go. Like, not even. You like, look, give him, give him, give him like these four songs. <laughs> give him the songs that you need. Yeah. What, songs, what songs would you do? I don't know. I mean, because normally I try to go up and bring them back down, but now I just. Nah, you just gotta go up. Ah! Yeah, you gotta go in there. You gotta go up. Yeah, yeah. So I'll probably hit them with the grow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's the uh, ones you played the other week at, after the chanting? Uh, oh, I'm about to have you pop. 
and that beat was going crazy on the speakers. I was like, oh, okay, I ain't heard it on the big speakers before. Uh, that probably would grow. I'm trying to remember how did I do that because I know I supposed to do like six or seven songs. Cause that one, you remember they were kicking me out the stage. Yeah. I was like, "No, nah, I don't play this song." You know what I'm saying? He was like, "Get shit, the last one." Yeah, yeah, we got to turn this motherfucker. Up. You know what I'm saying? These old people is ready to bop their heads and yeah. their feet. They trying to get these hips shifted. You know what I'm saying? And that was the funny part. Little granny them, granny them, they were right in there in that area from mm-hmm. the stage. They were talking about me, you know what I'm saying? They were acting like the mothers on the motherboard and some of them hating teachers from high school. You know that because you know we're the crazy kids in the cut. Yeah, but then by the end of it, she was like, okay, okay. When I did that, I said, I did my job. I did yeah. my job. You ain't I got gra- I got I got Granny to move her off the right knee a little bit. Yeah. She ain't moved that knee in three months, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It just been stuck in that one place. In fact, it was like, boy, we got her to shimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had done cracked a little smile a little bit. Oh, Beatrice. Yeah, Beatrice. Yeah, that'll that'll be their name sometimes. Beatrice. Uh, (laughs) Miss Beatrice is over there. (laughs) Hallelujah, Miss Beatrice. Soliciting the prayer warriors for us all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. After the number stay. After the number stay. Um, Yeah, definitely after the number stay. That was funny. They was like, oh. I was like, all right, we finna have Lilo. Like, y'all do know that he crazy, right? Y'all do know that he not finna be. No, you know his music is not whispering. Yeah, you know it's not that? at all. It is not the whisper. The opposite of whispering. Yes, very loud, very in your face, very direct, but it's very swagalicious. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Very dopalicious. Mm-hmm. And uh, it has a lot of good principles and educational moments in them so get what you get out of it and uh if you don't like it just play it for your plants because it'll help them grow too if you don't know about the power of sound and music uh do some research hello okay? somebody oh let them know they can find you oh you can find me on social media at lilo underscore jones or at outdoor fresh form you did what i'm saying and like i said every sunday on youtube 7 p.m you can check out what's going on either leo lilo in the garden or the adventures of lilo you did what i'm saying yeah make sure yeah. y'all like and subscribe tell a friend yeah. and tell a friend also yeah. make sure y'all follow creative soul studio they the people the studio we in they let me shoot here and yeah. s- tell a friend tell somebody somebody and you we out me? Yeah, yeah.